What's good guys, I'm John the Chief, and I'm here to bring you a quick little tutorial on how to get Xian Maze from Dead Island 1's Fury Knife the Blood Rage, which is one of the legendary weapons within Dead Island 2. This weapon is a throwback to Dead Island 1, where Xian Mei had the Fury skill called Blood Rage. The knife and stabbing style is also very similar to the combat during Fury in Dead Island 1, and this weapon is supposedly the exact stiletto that Xian Mei used in Benoi to fight off the first outbreak. To get this weapon, you will need to do the Lost and Found quest Fool's Gold. Fool's Gold can be done once you have finished the main quest in Santa Monica or the pier. First, you need to fast travel to the lifeguard headquarters at the pier, and right outside, you will find Dante. Killing him will give you the quest Fool's Gold. From here, proceed to the locker right around the corner, and you will receive a note. The locker and Dante are going to be at the lifeguard headquarters right at this location, so it's going to be right at the fast travel point for you. Super easy to get to. After you obtain the note, you need to arrive at this location right here to visit a donut shop hiding behind the ferris wheel. The note you are looking for is sitting on a bench behind the donut shop. After that, you need to proceed to the northern corner of the map right here at this location and visit an alleyway. Go to the end of the alley and you will find a note sitting on the ground. Congratulations, you have all three notes that you need to return to the safe and actually open it up and get your blood rage. On the outside of the lifeguard headquarters, you will find a safe right here at this location and then you're just going to have to fight a couple of zombies to uncover the safe. It's a quick little mobbing, you should have no problem whatsoever. And then, congratulations, you have just obtained Xian Mei's fury weapon, the Blood Rage. Blood Rage has a lot of cool effects. This weapon is a legendary knife that gets locked in with Superior Melee Puncturator mod, which allows it to have a major damage boost and deal bleed damage. It also comes locked in with Infectious, which is hitting a zombie causes additional bleed damage to it, and makes nearby zombies start bleeding too, so it's great for crowd control. Lastly, Puncture Wound is going to be your legendary perk, which is where landing critical hits in quick succession inflicts additional critical damage and bleed damage. This effect stacks and synergizes well with any perk that increases your attack speed or critical damage. This weapon is one of the best melee weapons because it is viable in a lot of situations. It's great for melting an apex enemy by getting those stacks of critical hit damage on the head and you can kill them in no time at all. And because of Infectious, it is great for crowd control where just killing a couple of zombies will lead to you killing the whole mob without trying. You will have to be up close and personal to use this weapon, so I recommend using skill cards that increase toughness and resilience and blocking. You want to be in their face constantly attacking, so agility is also important so you can shred enemies with no problem, just as if you were using Xian Mei's knife in Dead Island 1. Hope all of you guys enjoy the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help me out for making videos and getting onto that search engine. And hope all of you have a great day.